Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. One of the things you frequently need to do in Small Talk, or in fact any object-oriented language, is drop objects to disk in a binary format. Now I know how to do this in VisualWorks, I've done that quite heavily in VisualWorks, and I'm going to show you today how to do it in VA Small Talk. So if you have here some object, and here I'm using a single point, it could be any object, could be much more complex than this, but a point's a nice simple one to use. I'm going to open up a file, notice I'm just using the standard CFS write file stream, and I'm going to check for errors on that opening. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up for writing. And then I'm going to set that to binary mode. So I'm taking my stream, setting it to binary, and then I'm going to open the dumper. I'm going to unload an object onto the stream. So notice the API, unload into stream. Then I close it, and then I check the dumper for whether there are errors. A little different than what you would often do. You don't check for errors by exception handling. This is kind of the old style of the way things used to be done in VA Smalltalk. You just use the object, then ask it if there were any errors. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and execute this, and it's going to drop that object out to disk. And now on the other side of that, the APIs look fairly similar. Again, open up a file for reading using the standard APIs, and then set that to binary. Use the object loader instead of the object dumper, and then load from stream, and then close the stream, and then you can ask it again if there are errors. So let's go ahead and try that. So we'll go ahead and set all this up, and we will go ahead down here to the bottom. I have an inspect at the bottom so you can see what I'm doing. So I'll inspect the results, and we get back our 2 at 7 again. So I actually hit inspect, so we got two inspectors, but you see what we got. We got the 2 at 7. So I dumped it out in binary form, and I read it back in using the binary format, and I get the object. So if you need to store objects that aren't just simple strings, like you're not writing, say, a settings file, you're setting something up that needs to be a little more complex, not complex enough to need a database maybe, but complex enough to need something more than a flat file, this is what you want to use, something like the object dumper. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.